What's up everyone, Arctic here, and uh, today I just got a couple updates that I want to let you guys in on in terms of content that I'm producing, and uh, I want you guys to stay in the loop as much as possible. So, first and foremost, got some Killer Instinct gameplay up. I'm posting a lot of that content um, from non sparring lab episodes, just normal gameplay straight over on the Amazing MLG channel. So, if you're interested in seeing like some of the progression from start to finish, that's where you're going to want to look and all of those are uploaded in 1080p as well as opposed to I think some of mine are uploaded in 720p on my channel so uh, if you care to look links down in the description links save lives you guys know this okay second update frag logic we are rolling up on a year of doing this show live it's a show that Colin and I started to talk with game developers talk with uh you know some just personalities in the gaming community esports and to interact with you guys we've done i think three shows two or three shows with subscribers we've done four three or four different developer interviews we talked to jim brown from uh, epic games we talked to raxilla from epic games we talked to uh, david lang from iron galaxy studios and I might be missing a couple other people from dev. So we talked to uh, some people from IG, IPL, I think that's the name of that, that league, before it went under. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the show is we, we're trying to c continue to grow. And uh, obviously the best way to do that is to, you know, interact with you guys and start leveraging some of the, um, you know, things that uh, Colin and I have kind of built with, and I should say relationships that Colin and I have built uh, in the gaming industry. What we've done with episode 45 and what we'll be doing from here on out is that we'll be also streaming on YouTube while we're simultaneously streaming on Twitch. The reason that we're doing this, I know YouTube ch chat sucks when you're live streaming. I know this, guys. However, Time Warner Cable sucks more than YouTube's chat. And <laughs> for the times that my internet drops or Colin inter uh, internet drops, we lose that segment from um, you know the time that drops to the time it finishes on Twitch and it ends up separating that into two different videos all right so I save some of those videos locally but if Colin is streaming out that is basically lost it's a wash so I have to export from the time that we pick up or whatever is the longest portion of the stream and if it happens right in the middle of a show that is catastrophic for the show so by streaming directly to YouTube um, if there is a drop in the connection, as long as we don't stop the stream on YouTube itself while the stream is going, it actually takes the time that you drop and the time that you start back up and automatically splices those together so that if you uh, watch a rebroadcast, it looks like there was absolutely no downtime. Um, and that is phenomenal for me personally. Uh, we've had a lot of issues with, with just you know rendering, uploading, getting the timing out with those. And by streaming it live, it's all it's uploading simultaneously uh, as we're streaming. So that processing and that turnover time for people that miss the show to watch is much faster. Now, there's a couple downsides to it. It seems like publishing is always broken whenever you live stream. So you don't necessarily hit all the people that might normally watch the show. So you just got to tune in on Tuesday um, or Wednesday or whenever you watch the show. It'll most more than likely 99.9% .9 of the time it'll be up there. Um, available for you to watch. Interactive menu is also a lot more difficult to do because I usually timestamp it before I export so that is almost completely done. Now I have to go back on YouTube and scrub the video on YouTube and try to figure out when the timestamps are and that's kind of tricky. So the interactive menu stuff might be a little uh, harder for me to, I won't say harder, it might take a little bit longer for me to get those up before the video is up. But that's it on, on Frag Logic. We're almost up on a year on that show. I don't know if, what we're going to do, but uh, we are continuing to try to con, uh, you know, improve, I should say, the production of that show. And I want it to be a lot bigger than what it is right now. So you guys make that possible, and uh, we're going to continue to do it. You know, um, I hope, hopefully, years and years from now. But uh, I really love doing that show, and uh, I'm glad you guys have made it what it is so far. Next two things, Subscriber Sunday is coming back, albeit not the same. Uh, currently, my schedule is very, very hectic between work and my daughter and trying to do content uh, 
as a whole on YouTube. So as of the last two weeks, I, I've been hinting at this, that my daughter is coming of age. However, um, you know, there's still this time commitment that I have um, to my family that makes it very hard for me to schedule, you know, four blocks of or four hours out of a block of a day in order to stream like I would in the past. Now, I've managed to get two streams out at very different times. One I did it earlier in the day. The next one I did was really, really late at night. And both of them were on Sunday, uh, but I, I just can't commit to a time like I could before. So that means that I'm not probably going to do a voting like I did until uh, the schedule kind of gets better for me. But I do plan on bringing back Subscriber Sundays over on YouTube as well. All right, last little bit. If you guys are die hard, and I mean die hard, if you guys have been here for a while, you guys really enjoy my content, I'm asking you guys to head over to my Twitch channel and uh, subscribe. Follow me over there and um, you know, be on the lookout for a lot more content. I've started to pick up streaming over there on Twitch, and I can guarantee that you guys, to you guys on March 11th, Mark that date. If you don't know what that date is, you should know. March 11th, there's going to be a flood of streaming from our team in general, myself included, over on Twitch uh, for Titanfall. That's the game that's coming out. Um, and, you know, we have some other games playing as well, like Destiny. Uh, the Division is going to be something we're going to be streaming quite a bit. But uh, needless to say, we're going to be picking up on streaming. I've already started streaming more on Twitch. I haven't updated you guys on here on YouTube with any videos or anything like that. Like, hey, I'm streaming. Come check me out. Um, I might start doing that again. But the best thing you could do is just head over to my Twitch channel, follow me there, and um, you know, you guys can catch all the streams whenever I can sit down and play and uh, kind of enjoy my. I, I, you know, I'm not crazy when I stream. I try to be pretty down to earth. I try to be a little witty with my humor. But I'm not going to be, oh, oh, let's get wild and crazy. Oh, oh ha, 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 ha. <laughs> you know, I try to tell you guys, like, I'm just not like that. So I'm pretty chill. Um, you know, I, I try to joke a little bit here and there. Uh, try to just have some fun and, and enjoy my normal gameplay uh, regimen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this update video. And until the next time, I will catch you guys later. Peace. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy Killer Instinct, be sure to check out the Sparring Lab and subscribe so you guys don't miss any more.